Hey guys, so today we're trying something different. It's gonna be questions with Marcel. These are questions that you guys have been asking me on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, and today we're gonna to do a special one because this guy not only asked me on YouTube, but he also went in my DM and asked me another one. So this is questions with Marcel. This is episode one, but like always, before we begin, Bing. All right, guys, let's go. The question is from Chris. Um, I'm going to have it read out now. Okay, Chris says, my question was, if a loan officer makes 50 BPS or half a percent on each closing, but makes 10 per hour, is that still a good deal? I see that loan officers are making 1% on closing. Does this sound like a good opportunity? I appreciate the help. Okay, so what is BPS? That means bits bits so they get a part of the loan so for example if the loan is a hundred thousand he's getting 0.5 of the loan on average loan officers get at least one percent so what he's asking me is hey malcolm my company is saying that they're going to give me 0.5 but they're willing to pay me ten dollars an hour and then give me 0.5 i think when you work out the math for 40 for um 40 hours per week whatever, blah, 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 works up to $32,000. So they pretty much offer him a salary, a guaranteed salary of $32,000 a year plus 0.5 in incentives for every loan. Now, my question to you, Chris, is it all depends on if this is your first job or do you have a backup income. If this is your sole income and this is what you're relying on to feed your family, then it might not be enough. $32,000 isn't much. But wait, before I, I do that, I do want to give a little backstory about Chris. Chris did just graduate from college, so this is his first job, his first real job, we'll say. And starting off just out of college, 32000 plus an extra bonus of 0. 0.5 doesn't sound too bad. But what I always say is whatever they give you, whatever companies gives you as their first offer is never their best offer. So my advice to you, Chris, is to see what you can do to upsell yourself. Tell them, hey, I just recently graduated from college. I'm big into marketing. I'm big into branding. I'm also a really good salesperson. So yes, you won't give me $10 an hour, but I feel like I should deserve a little bit more. You know, competitively, the other rates, this is where you do a little homework and you pull up what the average new loan officer makes per hour, which let's say for our MSA is just $15. You say, hey, Regularly, um, loan officers make about $15 an hour or $20 an hour. I feel like you should try to be a little more competitive. Is it possible that you can do that? And if they say yes, then win-win. You win the extra money. If they say no, then say, okay, no problem. What about the bits? Can I get a little bit more? Can I get 65 bits? Because you're thinking of the long run. But it doesn't even really matter because the whole goal is to see what else you can get. Not only are you, one, increasing your sales, you're showing your manager, wow, if he's willing to not only stop the interview, stop this job offer because he feels like he can get more and you're actually showing him how you can sell, then they're in their back of the mind, he's going to also do this for, to the clients. He's going to get clients to see that, hey, this is who you should work with, this is why you should work with. You're showing yourself and you're selling yourself to them and they're going to realize that you can do that to customers and they're going to appreciate that you have the balls and the guts to do it. So it's a win-win, Chris. Um, like I said, I think you should ask for a little bit more, and I already told you this in the message, um, just because, one, I don't think that's much money, getting $10 an hour, but like I told you also is, you got to see if how soon you can renegotiate your contract. You can see if it's a temporary contract, you only do it for three months, put your head down and work your ass off and you're going to get so many sales or so many leads, they're going to be like, yo, we want Chris. You're going to become an asset to them where they're going to be afraid that you're going to leave them. So they're willing to bend over and give you more. And that's where you're going to succeed. And like I always told you, is you want your best goal is to brand yourself and create your own leads. Because yes, I know the bank's going to give you leads, but you want to show them that you don't need their leads. Their leads are just extra. You're bringing in your own deals, and then you're taking the deals and going even further, Chris. So, as I said, um, I'm happy for you, Chris. Congratulations. I think you should take the offer, especially being your first job, and I love that you're working in sales so you can get over the hump of hearing no, especially when you do cold calling. Hear and no, get it over it, let it go. No, 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 no. Because after a while, the worst thing that you realize, the worst thing that they can do is tell you no. And you've been used to hearing it, that it doesn't bother you. It's not going to stop you from achieving your goal. And it's going to help you become a better salesperson, a business owner, 
and a future leader. And I'm glad that you reached out to me, Chris. If there's anything else, you have any more questions, feel free. And you guys watching at home, this is Questions with Marcel. We will be doing more of these more often, maybe one, one a month. So ask your questions on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. I'll compile it, and we're going to do another one next week, and there's going to be a lot more questions. But this is it, Chris. This is when it's for you. Thank you for watching. Thank you, guys. It's the real Mr. Marcel, a.k.a. your favorite loan officer, and we're back with another video. You guys want more of this you guys want more of these videos then make sure you like subscribe follow and go see my other uploads there's a whole bunch on this channel for you guys i want to make you guys millionaires thank you for everything this is the real mr marcel and see you next week